Hello, in this video tutorial I will show you how to create outputs in the Mac version of Atlas DI. Uh, let's see, the first thing you can do is to print the document. Here is the document that is loaded at the time with the codes on the margin. Now you can you can edit or you can format this printout in the best way so that you can have all of your codes on the margin. Uh, if you take a look at the manual and I will I will uh, tell you in the description of this video I will I will tell you what is the page in the manual where you have to find this information but there you will see how is it that you can edit uh, the page so that all of the codes will show on the margin. Another thing you can do is you can go to Documents, Output, uh, List of Documents and Associated Groups. It will tell you here uh, this document belongs to these two groups, this one to these two groups, and so on. Documents, uh, List of Document Groups and their members. So this is one group of documents and these are the documents that belong to it. Quotation, Output, Commented quotations by documents. So here it will give you the list of quotations that have been commented in each document. Okay, so if there is a, 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 a comment uh, connected to a quotation, then this will show here. Quotation, output, quotations by code. So here you have each one of your codes, uh, the quotation, the document from where it comes, and the text of the quotation. Now this, this table, again, like all others, you can copy, go to the, your word processor, and 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 uh, and paste it and here you will have it and now you can edit however you want to edit now uh, these colors uh, they they correspond to the colors of the code so this is a blue co uh, code I color it blue right that was my my decision uh, now in the current uh, version of Atlas DI uh, you will have an output for all of your code. So if you do not want a specific code, you will just have to, to delete this row uh, from the output, right? So you will end up only with those that you really want. That's the only way as of today uh, to do that. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm go not going to close it here. I'm gonna go back, quotation, output, uh, quotations by code with comments. So if there is a comment associated to the code, like in this case, the code will, sh the comment will show in the, in the report. Quotations by code, alternative view. This is a different view of the same thing. Now, uh, well, not in the same, not, not, not an alternative view of quotations by code with comments, but of the previous one. Now here, if I, if I copy this and paste it into a word processor document, I will be able to delete a, this column or that column and so on. So here it tells you that code A uh, has been connected to quotation 86, and this is the text of the quotation. Uh, this is the document name and this is the author, the person who, uh, who, who, who created this. So that uh, can be once again uh, selected, copied and pasted into a uh, word processor document. Let me go to codes, output, codebook and I already have a tutorial on the codebook but I'm repeating this. So here is the codebook again. And, 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 and once again, you can do this. Let me just repeat this here. Copy. I go to my word processor document. 
and I will do exactly the same thing as I did before. Paste. Okay, now different from the previous one, I am going to now delete something, delete a column, and, and maybe delete these two codes that I don't like. Delete there. Oh, and fix the misspelling and so on. And now I, I have my, my, my table here uh, with, the, uh, with the comments or really the definitions, the operational definitions of each one of my codes. Uh, this can be edited as you know. So you can have the kind of table that you want to have. This is what I like. All right, let's go back to uh, where I was before. So I'm going to close this here. Output for codes. Okay, what else do we have here? Well, list of codes and associated groups. So this code belongs to this group, RO2 services. This one to the same and so on. Codes, output, a uh, list of codes by document, by document. So this tells me that in this document, in this document, I have these codes. Okay, close. Codes, output, list of code, codes, uh, code groups and their members. This is a, a group, and these are the members of the group. In other words, the codes that belong to the group. Code output uh, tag cloud. This is a tag cloud that shows you uh, the, the, the number of quotations uh, linked to a code, and that is, well, it, 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 it will show the, the, the size of the code will represent um, the, the, the how, how uh, let's say, how connected, really, that's, that's the best term, how connected is that code to quotation. So this one seems to be the most, that is the one that is mostly connected, as well as this one, perhaps this one here. And if I click on that code, it will take me uh, to the uh, actual quotations, okay? Another one, code output, tag cloud with code colors. If you have uh, colored those codes, they will show here. Let's see what has been said in regards to comprehensive care. I click here and this is it. This is what has been said in regards to comprehensive care. Let me go now to uh, memos, output, all memos including content. Here is a table, which is I think very useful, that tells me this memo here, I have written the following. Okay, and, and I think this one is worth uh, uh, copying into, into uh, the word processor document and see what we have. Base. Yeah, so here it is. So this document, this, this memo is called co-occurrences. I wrote this. Today, the 29th of October, I found that, that occupation, the occupation construction uh, co-occurs with the occupation domestic work. This happens in quotation two and three, and so on, right? So I explained that. Now, if I don't want any of this, I just will delete the row, correct? And now I have the other one. So again, this is a typical table and you can, oops, that's not a good choice that I made, that's very bad. Uh, so I have to find, have to go back to, to a good one. Uh, whoops, okay, well, forget about that. <laughs> I didn't realize that the color is yellow, which is not very appropriate there. It's very not, not, not that it's not appropriate, but it's not very useful. But anyways, you have to play with this and find the one that suits your needs uh, better, right? Okay, 
let me uh, let me select all and delete let me go back to where I was and I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go to memos output uh, memos with content and linked quotation so if you have or if I have linked a given memo to quotations those quotations will be showing here so precisely this memo initial reflections written on the 9th of December uh, has been connected to quotation 8.1 and this is the text of the quotation. So this can be very useful. In fact, has been connected to two quotations, 8.1 and 8.2. Again, the same thing, copy and paste. Memo, output, um, let me see, let me see. Uh, memos, content, including content, associated groups, quotations, well, yeah, associated groups uh, in case I had my memos uh, grouped. Uh, well, in fact, I do have them grouped. So why don't I take a look at that? I will go to memos, output, uh, list of memos and associated groups. So this memo is a methodological memo. This one is also methodological. This one is what I call thematic. This one is also thematic. And the last one is methodological as well. Memo output list of memo groups and their members. So the one before I already I already showed it to you. List of memo groups and their members. Uh, this group methodological includes these memos here. Okay, so these are the outputs that we have now in in Atlas TI for Mac. Uh, new out outputs that will allow you to to interrogate Atlas TI. For example, what was said about concept A. Uh, but only those people who were interviewed in Brazil, for example, or, or all of the people gender female from Brazil, well, that kind of output will be coming soon uh, to Atlas TI for Mac. Thank you very much.